Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. It's going to be my daily forecast for June 29, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, most of the cryptocurrency market did rally significantly today. And uh, that is kind of to be expected due to the fact that their, the RSI for most cryptocurrencies have been extremely low and they have been very, very overstretched. So Bitcoin is up, it was up roughly 5 6%, ran into the 20 exponential and got rejected there. So the question is whether or not we managed to break above uh, the 20 exponential, head towards 50, break above there, head towards uh, 200, and then beyond that. That is technically the question. We are still trading within this square. So the highs here of round, give or take, uh, 41k, and the very lows here of roughly uh, 29, 20, uh, 30k, and so on. We did break significantly lower here, but this was also fairly overstretched or over, oversold. But this is where we are in Bitcoin, and we could be heading back towards these highs, but. 20 exponential is offering uh, resistance, so will the 50, and so will the top of the bull in Japan, and so will uh, 30, uh, 41k. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still flat, stochastic has crossed, signal line is bullish, CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum did really make a massive move today, but we are still not getting anywhere. So um, the thing is that we have seen these moves before. We have headed towards the 20 exponential, got rejected, headed towards the 50 and the 20, got rejected, 20 rejected. And now we are stopping right underneath the 20 exponential. We may well break above the 20 exponential and then we have to, to challenge the 50. And that's the question whether or not we managed to do that. Technical indicators, we are, uh, they are all turning around. MACD is uh, just underneath the signal line. Stochastic is, is bullish and the CCI is, um, is bearish and the RSI is bullish at this point. So the so, um, question is whether we break above here, then we could go towards uh, 2,580, give or take. And that is going to be the question whether or not we manage to break above there. If they do, then we could go back to the very highs. But but uh, we have seen this move, these moves before. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano also has rallied up towards the 20 exponential. And uh, well, yes, um, it is following the most of the cryptocurrency market today. And uh, until we basically break about the 2050 and beyond that, then, then we're still in this downtrend. We're still rallying up towards the resistance and then breaking down. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, is uh, bearish, stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. If we break it down from here, then we could have the bottom of this market at this point is $1, and that's at the 200 moving average. So let's look at Litecoin. Litecoin, very similar here. We did not manage to get to the 20 exponential, so we could see this rally again tomorrow. If we break above the 20 exponential, then we could head towards the 200. But it's very likely that we'll have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average here um, tomorrow or or on Wednesday. And that usually is not a very good sign for any asset whatsoever. Usually have a massive fall after that. If you look at MACD, it's flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. If you take out 100, then we're dropping most likely towards 50. So let's look at NEO. So yes, it is mainly Ethereum that has been rallying roughly 13% today. It's definitely not been NEO. It barely scratched the top of the previous size here, and there's a long way to go up towards the 20 exponential. The 50 moving average is racing towards the 200 moving average, which is not a very good sign here. MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So we could see what we have seen with all the other cryptocurrencies that we rally up towards the 20 exponential and then get rejected there, as we have seen several times in the past or the last 
last month and a half that we have been trying to rally up towards these points and have just been again rejected every single time. So let's look at Dash. So, oh, sorry. There. So same thing here for Dash. We didn't really get towards the 20 exponential and uh, therefore we may see this uh, continue rally tomorrow uh, or we break down. If we get rejected at 20 exponential, then we are going to test these previous lows at 100 yet again. MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is uh, bullish at this current stage. 50 moving average, 200 moving average are most likely going to cross tomorrow, and that is not a, usually not a, a bullish sign. That is a bearish sign. So let's look at Dogecoin. So it has rallied up towards the 20, got rejected there, lost most of its gain. And uh, yes, that is kind of what is to be expected as we can see all of these attempts to challenge the 20 exponential in the past also here got heavily rejected. So MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, the CGI is bearish and the RSI is uh, bullish at this point. So it's kind of a waiting game most, for most of the cryptocurrency market. The jump into this in a buy at this current day is very risky as uh, we're technically, this kind of shows more likely the state of the cryptocurrency market that it is in a downtrend. And uh, even though we had a really good day today, it does not mean that this downtrend has changed whatsoever. So, so. Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button at the bell to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.